I'd be lying if I didn't say that I dug through my comments for some hater who commented on part one of contracts. <laughs> I couldn't find it, but whoever you are, we miss you. Also, round of applause for CI Games for making this Sniper Ghost Warrior better than the last. Awesome. Yeah. Now stop. This game still has fucking issues. What's up folks, my name is Tanner and today we're going to take a look at Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. If you've been around the channel, you know I was not a fan of part 1, but part 2 could be better. Now don't forget to subscribe and a giveaway is intimate. A giveaway is imminent. Comment, subscribe, and I'll reach out to the winner in 7 days. Is Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 worth $40? Well, let's find out. Story? Yeah, story. We have a war story. You play as the renowned sniper Raven, who is tasked with going to the Middle East and eliminating high-ranking officials to prevent a war that will affect the oil for the world as well as the global market. Uh, sounds legit to me, but th th that's really all the story is. It's just some writing to make the game a little bit more interesting than just going around sniping people for the fun of it. So, let's hop into the gameplay. So if this is your first rodeo with these games, then welcome to Gameplay Mediocrity at its finest. Now, Look, I did enjoy this second part more than part one. That, that's true, and I did have some fun, but this game has issues that can't be overlooked. Now, first and foremost, this is a part of the contract series of the Sniper Ghost Warrior games. So, you have five missions you go into, and each of these missions have their own set of contracts for you to complete. This will range from killing specified targets, stopping some sort of production to hurt infrastructures of the people, optional bounties, etc. It's, it's just simple stuff. The combat for this game feels a lot smoother than it did in previous titles. I mean, the shooting was up to par and honestly felt satisfying. I remember playing the very first Sniper Ghost Warrior and the gunfights with the ARs. I mean, they were they were awful. So they have come a long way in making these confrontations enjoyable. Now, the sniping felt and looked a whole hell of a lot better than it did in Contracts 1. I mean, everything about it just, it, it got that revision that it needed. Even the slow-mo camera. So whenever you shoot someone, it'll randomly go into the slow motion bullet tracking camera and you watch it rip people's heads off or just go through them and leave a wicked looking trail of some thick with two C's kind of blood. And same goes with the CQB executions. They happen at reduced speeds and show off some cool knife takedowns as well as some snapping of the neck stuff. Now this game is also supposed to be heavy on stealth or at least you can be. You have the option but stealth is what they're really going for here and it doesn't fail but it they also don't exactly get it right for a couple reasons. First off, some of the missions in this game are called long contracts. That means every contract you have will be achieved by long shots on a cliff like a thousand meters out kind of distance. So you kill someone from that distance even with a silencer and boom, everyone and their mother on that base knows exactly what cliff you're on and how to shoot you with their iron sided AKs to hit you perfectly just to kill you. Oh, and there's no cover on these high grounds, or at least cover that you can use while aiming down on your targeted region. The same goes for your general location in other missions as well. You shoot an enemy, and if you get caught, they instantly know where you are, and losing them... Uh, let's just say I would rather have a 5-star 1 level in GTA and lose that than try to lose these dudes. I was also spotted by a camera, but there was no camera. I was in a reactor, and I was walking up these stairs... And I kept getting the icon that a camera was spotting me. And I look around and there's no camera. As well as I also had a turret. They, they kept getting suspicious of me. Even though I would, I'd be behind walls or in grass. And they, the icon wouldn't decrease. It would just stay still. So I had no choice but to be spotted. And just continue the mission guns blazing. So yeah, being sneaky is tough. But when you do achieve it... it it has some wicked takedowns, and you even have an option to interrogate enemies so you can learn about their security systems, or they'll highlight enemy locations for you. Other than that, though, you're going to have a good bit of fast-paced FPS action. Well, as fast as you can. Uh, the, the movement in this game is a bit sluggish. I mean, I think it's smooth. It, it is smooth. It's just sluggish. Now we dive into the customization of the game. In Contracts 2, we have the option of purchasing weapons, attachments, and camos with currency and points you earned for completing main and side contracts. Now, weapons, some are probably going to disagree with me, but the selection here, it, it gets the job done. I mean, it's only five missions. There's, there's no need for a one-man army kind of arsenal. We have SMGs, shotguns, snipers, ARs, pistols, and this time around, we also get a chance at a compound bow, which is an absolute blast. I, I would actually say it's a bit more promising than something like an assault rifle because of just how quiet it is. And if you shoot your gun and you miss near an enemy, the entire camp is now on your ass. 
and that's not the case with the bow. With each weapon, they all have their own unique set of attachments to help you prepare for your coming mission, whether you want to be silent or not. And a little tip I have, it is vital to check your mission objectives and tweak your loadout. I got caught in a long contract with a non-zoom scope, and that was rough. I mean, it was my fault, of course, but damn, that was tough. Along with these weapons, we also have gadgets. Now, I saw some people didn't like that it seemed that these gadgets were a port from part one with a few new ones, but don't be a baby. Uh, th these all work fine. And the new additions, such as the RSW, which is a portable sniper to help you out, it's neat. It's a neat addition. I, I didn't need some overhaul of gadgets. These work just fine. This game also features upgrades for your character, weapons, and gadgets as well. I mean, this is more like a perk system. You buy one in a certain category to unlock the next one for you to buy. And all these do are upgrade things like health, give you ceramic plating to allow you to take more damage, carry more explosive, different visions on your mask, etc. It's a, it's a list of good and helpful upgrades. This Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts, to me, was a game that had its fun moments filled with brutality and blood everywhere, as well as a nice change up with some of the contracts being long distance ones. It was a step up in the right direction with good intent, but it falters in some places for the gameplay. As I talked about before, with the guards instantly knowing where you are and losing them is tough. I, I, look, I felt the AI in part one was absolutely stupid, but in this one, they are just too damn smart for their own good at the cost of our enjoyment. Now, another issue I had was I loaded into a region and I, I couldn't do anything. Like The cutscene played, but I had no way to start my game, so I had to completely exit and restart it. As well as I had another issue where my checkpoints weren't registering. So when I completed a contract and died, I loaded at the beginning of the mission, even though I was two contracts away from completing the entire region. As far as the design goes, it, it's easy to assume that it could be bland because it's mostly desert missions. And it, it's true, some are bland and some things are copy and pasted, but you know, graphically, this game was impressive. It's a big step forward from part one. Once again, uh, the sounds were on par from gunshots, voice acting. Even the soundtrack had me impressed at first. I mean, my excitement did die for it as I played more, but, you know, it was still cool. So, without further rambling on, here are some clips of the overall design. McNally is no more. Good work. Hostile kill. You can explore safely now. Check him out. I time this right, I might get a twofer. Time it wrong, and they'll both rub it. Good point. We have successfully tapped his phone. You should be able to hear them talking now. Good to see you on time for once. <laughs> Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2, to me, is worth 
$25 out of $40. Not a bad price at all, and if all these issues can get fixed, I'd say buy it. CI stepped up their game and delivered something fun. I mean, not too much content and maybe a little less than some may like, but a nice amount for a base price of $40. And if you're a fan of the series, I definitely think you're going to like it, and you don't expect a whole lot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're new, I would just say wait until it hits that sale. That's all I got, folks. Do not forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Check out my new merch I just got in the description, and I will see you all on the next go-round.